everyone welcome back in the last episode we did the mouth um and in this episode we're gonna do the hair but before we start the hair i completely forgot um the uh mouth we have these cheeks and i wanted to do the um the blush on them which uh, ultimately what i'm going to do is just have them turn them on and off um yeah that's all i really wanted to do with these so you can turn them on Turn them off. Turn them on. Turn them off. That's it. Okay. Now let's 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 look at the hair. We got a lot of hair to work with. Um, we're not gonna do the ears yet. The ears are for. That's a problem for future me to worry about, and I don't want to worry about it right now. But we're gonna work on this hair, and we have uh some hair in the back here. I'm not gonna work on the tail yet, but. We have all this. This is what we're working on today, including these side thingies. It's just going to take us a little while, but first things first, we're going to start with the front. This is also going to bring in a lot of um, physics. Yeah, that's where most of the physics go. If you've ever noticed that live 2D hair doesn't move like natural hair, because if you actually look at real people hair when they move around, it doesn't actually move around too much. But goddamn, if gravity doesn't work the same way for live 2D. So, yep. Um, let's start with... The sideburns, or I call them sideburns. You can call them whatever the fuck you want. I'm going to do like a heavy on both. That's good enough. Uh, let me grab the this bang. Do a heavy on that one. And a heavy on the... Uh, yep, heavy on that one. <clears throat> and so these two right here are going to be getting uh draw orders which means everything below we're gonna have to worry about the draw order for because when the head turns we don't want that when the head turns some of this is gonna disappear behind it not the fangs not the fangs but the this all right <clears throat> um so i'm going to put them in their own x and y uh, deformers, but I'm going to do, um, their physics with just, uh, the path deformer. Yeah. That makes sense. I hope it makes sense. Uh, let's, let's start with this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab it. And kind of just add this, these path deformers, right? And for the X, when I I'm gonna grab this side over here, and this one I'm gonna change the draw order. And you can do this one of like two ways. You can just grab this and go loop and adjust it, like 499, which is what I'm gonna do. Um, or if you're selected on here, you can just change the draw order here. And this means that it's going to like switch off, which is what I want. I want that cheek to be able to come out. Although I don't know if you're going to see much of the cheek because we have like this shit in the way, but we'll see. Um, and as far as the other side, we don't need to worry about it, but I'm doing that before I do the physics. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do a uh, side burn burn physics one and you can name it whatever you want i don't i don't care enough to name it and why am i doing the physics first i don't know because <laughs> uh so this is gonna be like it wiggling this way so i'm just gonna kind of move things to wiggle this way and then this is gonna wiggle back so you know how like when I did bones on like um Vroid? That's basically what I'm doing here. And I don't want this upper part to move too much, so I'm not really bothering too much with it. So now we have a little bit of a physics move. I'm gonna pull this down a little bit. Um and one of the tips I saw, and I think it was by uh Ran um from Twitter, was in order to make it look better. Um, actually, you know what? I might 
undo this. I'll I'll change. I'll adjust the layer order after. Um, because I'm gonna be adding another set here. Uh, sideburn P2, but I'm gonna go back and fix for just that one particular thing. It'll just make it easier to do it this way than having to readjust everything. Trust me. Um, so what they suggested is just like to give it a little extra like oomph. So I'm just gonna give a little oomph to the tip. Just the tip. Yeah. And then when we move it back to this other one, we're going to kind of move it back a little bit. All right. So that should be all of them. So basically it's going to kind of do a wave like this. Which normally we wouldn't have had if we only did this. It would just have gone back and forth. But with both of them, we now have like this more fluid wave. And now what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to do this angle thing. And over here... Wait, why are these... Uh... You're not 499. What are you doing? All right, yeah. So see it at 500. 500. All right. So this we need at 499 and we need it for every single one of these. So I'm just going to grab here, minus one. Go here, minus one. Grab this one, minus one. And I'm right clicking to grab the nearest point. So I don't have to be perfect. So if I'm like here, kind of near it, I can just right click and... See, and that makes that so much easier than me having to re animate each of these for that point um because i don't need to worry about actually moving this where it's going to be that's going to be on something else i just needed to do this for the draw order because you can only do the draw order on the actual thing you can't do it on like one of the deformers unfortunately which i really wish you could but you cannot La -wa. La -wa. so time to do this one and i'm gonna do it the same way i did this uh Ah, God, it's like, it's like feeders, like, um, a lobster feeder or crab feeder. Um, if you want to add like another physics, you can, but one of the things I do have to do is I have to adjust the draw order for this side because I, I want that one behind it. So we're going to do a minus one. Um, we can actually add more physics if we really want to. I've, um, have actually begun to add something where it's a more of a bounce physics, but I'm going to do that afterwards because I want to grab both of them together when I do it. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab sideburn, sideburn R, and this is going to be for the XY. And so when I move it over here. This is going to come move over here. I'm actually going to stretch it a little wider too. And then when it's over here, I'm going to kind of like pull it in a little bit. Um, normally when I do stuff like this, I have multiple hairs and it's not just like the one. I mean, I guess mine is just the one as well, but it's not going behind anything, you know? Uh, I kind of keep it more in the front. Again, because this is a chibi, I'm not really putting as much effort as I probably should. But that being said, all right, this is going to be side is three and over here i'm gonna do sideburn three i like doing stupid physics stuff so what i'm doing i'm just pulling it down and when this one i'm just gonna pull it up and 
And we can go over right here and to open our, we're gonna open our physics and we're gonna add a new one and we're gonna do sideburns. Uh, it's gonna have the head inputs and we're gonna do long hair because I just want that length. Um, we're going to add all three of these. We could do them separately if we wanted to. I'm gonna increase my output so I can just kind of see what's going on. Can you, can you just like fucking increase the output please? Alright, whatever. Bah! There we go. Now, I just want to see what's going on. Why does this one seem like it's so much longer? Alright, I'm gonna pull that in so it doesn't move as much. And I want to take these down. Let's do like 30. Do like half. Let's take the duration down to like here. Um, which one are you? Sideburn 3? I'm gonna bring you back up to, say, like, 45. Kinda like that, like, bounce. Take this one up to 45 as well. Ah. I don't know. I'll mess with it more later on, but... I have a general idea. I always like to get the general idea of what I'm working with before moving on to the next one when it comes to physics because I might just forget all together. All right. Um, so I'm going to also do like this for the physics, but I'm going to do the physics afterwards because I want to make sure I get everything in place and I don't want it to move too far. So this will be bangs left x y. Yeah, you remember how I said that we were going to not see all the cheek? This is what I meant. We're not going to see all the cheek. make this a little wider. Did I do like little? Alright, I'll do little. Um, and I can, I'm gonna end up deleting the back of this head afterwards. Like I said, we go and we adjust things. Alright, that looks good for that. Oh, um... This one. This bliss. And we want to do the up, so I'm just going to pull this up. And I'm going to just kind of pull this like this. And I'm actually going to... Kind of pull this over. Like it's pulling around the face a little bit. And then... For this... Let's see, is that about right? Yeah, I think that looks good. I'm gonna kind of pull it in a little bit. Like, it's covering the face a bit more. Now, when it came to mine, because um, you can kind of see my eyes through it a little bit, it's because I made them a bit of an... They weren't complete uh, opacity. I kind of did a an erase a little bit of it so you could see through them. Yeah. Although there is a way that you can kind of, like, duplicate the eyes and then apply it to the hair... Um, and then like lower the opacity of that so you still kind of see through it, but for the chibi, I think this is fine. Yeah, I think that's good. Um, so 
so what I'm gonna do for this is I'm just gonna do like a simple like I don't want too too much going on with this one so now I'm gonna curl in I think that might be okay. I don't know if I really want to add anything for the tip, though, but... I don't want to add too much. I just... I, 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 I want to make sure that that's mostly covered. Because we do have a hair covering thing, but we might... I'm trying not to use it, if at all possible. That's more of uh, a contingency plan. I'm gonna do these kind of in the opposite. Like the other ones, I um, they moved in the like kind of same direction-ish. Like you, well, you see how it goes like left and right. This one, I'm gonna kind of make it go opposite. So they're gonna kind of like match it and pull in together. All right, now to fix the face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit every corner and see if we have anything that stands out. Like we have this that stands out here. So I'm just gonna kind of smoosh, oops. Oh, that. I'm gonna just kind of grab that and smoosh it in. Grab this and smoosh it in. Grab this and smoosh it in. I don't really have much in the way of smooshing on this side, to be honest. But yeah, and it looks like we don't need this, which is mostly just to hide the hairline if we needed to, but we don't need it. Uh, let's go open the physics. Let's add bangs, head, short, bam, add, bang, bam. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay with this being a bit more shaky. Okay. Okay, let me do okay. Um, now that we've gotten that, we have all of this we can work on. But before I do the side and the braid, I'll do the back of the hair. Because the back of the hair I'm gonna, is going to be pretty easy. Um, for this model, for the, for the most part. Um, and I'm gonna, mm, I'm not gonna really do physics. I'm gonna do a little, but not too much. Uh, but for this, I'm just gonna do the X and Y on the base mesh. And I'm gonna want to make sure that this is at, you know what? Let me take it at the 500. And before I go and I do all of that, I'm gonna just minus... Minus 10. All right. Now I move it there. I'm just going to move this over a little bit. And if I really want, I can grab this and just like smoosh. And I'm going to do reflect. Yep. And then when I look up, the back of the hair is going to come down. I think that might even stretch it down a little bit. And then when I look up, this is going to go up a little bit. And the bottom of the hair is going to like smoosh up a little bit. Uh, it looks a little, a little peculiar now. Um, but hopefully it'll be better when we add this pulled back hair. Because we have, like, that ponytail we're working with. But for the most part, that's basically how you would do that. Um, you'd usually have ears in there and then, like, maybe even an extra layer of hair. Like, I have some extra hair in there and um, other ones I've done even add a little extra hair. 
Uh, the braid I'm a bit worried about because I don't know if I wanted... I manually do the braid, I think. I'm kind of just doing an outline. And then I'm going to go through and I guess change it a bit, but I want to do one through the center. I kind of want it to match where the center of the braid is. Yeah, I think kind of like that is what I'm looking for. And then I'll just do an auto connect and it should connect those. Um, also, this needs to be minus the 10. All of this needs to be the minus. Which, to be fair, I could probably do this real quick because this isn't going to get all that much change added into it. If anything, I guess I could add some physics to it. Do I want to add physics to this? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll we'll do this tie X Y just in case. Just in case I decide I want to add physics to it. I think what throws us off is a shadow, but the ears will hide that when we finally do the ears. Um. But if I really wanted to, I could also hide the shadow by taking, like, these points and just, like, moving them. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Um, and for the back of the hair, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna do some physics, I guess, to it. Uh, back hair physics. Uh, back, uh, uh, back hair. And this is just gonna be super simple. I'm just gonna do, like, a back and forth, which, let me bring this down to, like, two. Actually, if I really wanted to, I can reflect motion. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for that. And... I think I might add- alright, so look, I'm gonna add a physics to this, and I'm gonna add it to the front bangs. Should you add it to the front bangs? Look, that's up to you. You don't need to. You can add it wherever you want. For me, it's fine if it's on the front bangs. I'm doing a very mild motion like that blah, 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 blah. no you know what I was gonna do that but I'm not gonna do that For this, I'm going to do pulled right XY. And if you notice there's a gap here, I did that on purpose because I wanted to make sure that there was plenty of, like, space. So when I turned it this way, it would it would kind of match up. Which you can see it lines up. This side not so much, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this in. Uh, 
All right, and now let's do the corners. That's like your buddy. Synthesized corners is gonna be your goddamn buddy for the rest of your goddamn life. If you never have a friend, remember, synthesized corners will be your friend. So now you can never say, I don't have any friends, because synthesized corners is your friend. Look at this bald five head fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that looks better. Trust me, it'll look even better with the ears in there. Um. Alright, this back braid, I'm gonna save for a different lesson because it's going to do path we're going to be using this as a rotation deformer creation tool, which I was going to do for just the tail, but I think I might not do it for the tail. Um, I use it on my tail, but mm. it's a bit of a pain in the ass is what I'm going to say. And I don't know if I really want to attempt it now, but what I will do is I will do this hair clip. Um... And this hair clip gets lost on mine. Most people f miss it and they don't even see the moon in it. And I understand because the moon is silver and the flower is kind of like a white pink. So I get it. It's, it's my fault. I didn't, I didn't consider it. Um, there's a lot of details on my outfit. I, I, I have a lot of details on my outfit. <laughs> a lot of stuff that I was considering when I... I made this and like, yeah, I should have made it like gold or something. Like I, I guess I could always go back and fix it, but yep. So this is what we have. I don't have this in here yet. We're going to do that on another day, but let's go into the physics and, um, let's do a back ahead. Back of head. We're gonna have that as head, and we're gonna do a short hair. And I'm gonna just add it as the back hair. And let's do it as a 30. Oh. Yeah, you're not really seeing anything. This all depends on you, how you want to do these, um, this physics stuff. It's all fine, uh, fine tuning and adjusting, like the duration, the amount of shaking, the reaction, the overall, and then over here, you're going to scale the effect of it. Um, and I don't know, man, like, and here, like how much of the angle and the position. See how it's just, it also moves the physics too. Like you see this down here moving? Like it shouldn't be doing that. Also, you can kind of see the, the physics up here on the little, the little doodads, the little, the little jaggles. Look at the little jaggles. Yeah. You know what I would really like to do, which I wouldn't be able to do, or at least I wouldn't know how to do, is I'd like to be able to add a bold outline to the outline of the whole thing. But basically, it would have to shadow it. I have an idea. <laughs> I don't know if it'll work. It might not work. It probably won't work. But I want to try. Anyways. That's what I'm, I'm going to call that for t uh, this, this episode, this tutorial. If this has helped you out, uh, please give this video a like. 
Uh, please share if you want to share it. And leave a comment down below of who your best friend is. And that is the synthesized corners. Our best friend. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time where we will We'll do the back we'll do the back ponytail next time and it'll be dedicated just to that back ponytail. Unless it goes super smoothly, which it never does. Uh, then we'll do something else. But until then, we'll just do the back ponytail. Maybe the ears. Yeah. All right. See you then. Bye. Hair, hair, hair. Hair, hair, hair. Hair, 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 hair. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da